hey y'all. If you saw my last Star News video, you should know that I was super excited for the release of the Barbie Stud by Maeve Riley doll dropping on Meta Creations today. At a $35 price point, we get a signature collector release with a very well tailored outfit made of high quality fabrics and a stunning looking articulated doll featuring the Barbie signature exclusive face sculpt Andra donning a very beautiful face up. The doll was designed by Swim, whom I love and adore and think that the releases she's working on for Barbie Signature this year are among the finest we've seen for Barbie fashion-wise in years. But just a few hours shy of them dropping the doll on their creation's website storefront, Mattel decided to hike up the price from the original $35 we were all promised and led to believe this doll would cost to $45 a whopping 28% increase from the previous pricing. As Mattel does not provide free shipping, you would have to add another $10 on top of that to be able to purchase the doll. And if you want to get her in the suggested members exclusive time frame over the course of the next 24 hours, add another $10 on top for the membership fee. All of this makes this doll so much less appealing to collectors than she was initially. Now, Mattel's PR issued an apology on the Creations members' exclusive forums in which they wanted to clear misconceptions about the original pricing up. The apology reads as follows. Hi everyone, we have an update to share about the styled by Maeve Riley Barbie doll. Unfortunately, there was a miscommunication around price point on our end. The price reflected in online news stories, linking to an article on gossiptabloidpeople.com, is correct. But up until now, the price on our site has been $35. You'll notice as of now that the site reflects the correct price of $45. We truly apologize for this mix-up in price. We know how disappointing this may be for some. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to tag me or one of our mods. We appreciate your flexibility and understanding. Now it's fair to question how believable this apology is though. To me it just reads as a lot of BS. The shop now side of the door first went online on Friday. Mattel's decision to hike up the price or um, correct their supposed error came on Monday. How would you not be able to catch a mistake like this over the course of a whopping 96 hours? Like. You are a billion dollar toy company that has been running for over half a century. This isn't your first time at the rodeo. Unless your company is run by a bunch of clowns, of course. People.com also mentions the $45 price in correlation with the October 22nd release date, which mandates a membership in order to buy the doll on that date. So it very well means that they calculated the membership cost on top of the $35 price just like Mattel Creations does on that checkout page when you haven't signed up already. So this whole thing about online news outlets having the correct price up is way too convenient of an excuse and I'm not gullible enough to believe it. It's just a load of BS to make us all believe the Oopsie, it was all mistaken communications, sorry y'all. At the point of making this video, one of the biggest toy news sites, youloveit.com, still has the original pricing of $35 up on their page. While there have been dozens upon dozens of posts, TikToks, reels and videos up saying the doll would cost that much, including my very own doll news video that was clicked on by over 3.7 thousand people. What I suppose had happened is that Mattel saw an opportunity to squeeze out more profit because they were seeing how this release was being received by so many longtime collectors and Barbie fans. Mattel was probably also taking into account the possibility of scalpers buying up the doll via bots, so adding another 10 onto the pricing would be profitable in this case if bots would have meant a guaranteed sellout of this doll. Now part of the reason why everyone was positive about this doll was the price point Mattel. Like if you take that away, a ton of people are not going to be all that interested no more. Nobody is going to pay scalper prices for this. This is not a FOMO release. This was basically a fashion pack everyone is excited to get for $35. Also scalpers aren't going to just buy up signature releases willy nilly. They know which ones are going to be profitable and which ones are not or else Mattel would still be sitting on a backlog of unsold Anne Couture and Claudia Schiffer dolls. Just saying. And the reception of this whole debacle has been quite disastrous, let me tell you. Let's read some of the comments I've seen from longtime Barbie collectors. It is a clownish move to raise the price like this. 
I'm sorry, but this just feels like backtracking because of the many comments talking about the great price. I've never seen this big of an error just a few hours before launch. Now I'm not sure if I will get the doll after all. Are you kidding me? Everyone expressed that this is a beautiful doll with a good price. Now that this method is being used to increase the price, I feel very angry and don't want to buy anymore. I think everyone should firmly resist such behavior. Otherwise, there will be more such ways to raise prices in the future. This price increase is unacceptable and shakes my trust. Is this a test to see whether collectors will accept it and still buy it? If we do, will this type of misunderstanding occur more often in the future? We praise the doll in the forum and someone thinks, great, this doll is amazing, let's increase the price, it worked last time too. I don't want that. I agree, I will not buy the doll at the new price. There are 13 pages and days worth of praise for the $35 price point. Is it time to get on LinkedIn and message the people in charge of pricing and profits? Ugh, that's so tacky. How can it have been the wrong price all this time and they've just noticed now? Nah, that's BS. What was going to be an affordable dollar is now not worth the new price with shipping. I'm really disappointed to see Mattel raise the price on the store by 28%. That's a huge price increase. It's also very poor form to advertise something for $35 for several days and then increase the price to $45 the day before it goes on sale. That is a really shady business practice. This is BS, I'm sorry, but waiting till the last moments after all these days of haste to raise the price looks like a very shady move. Especially because it's not believable that a massive corporation made a pricing mix-up for days. Jesus. I was going to try for this store since I really liked it, but now with all of this, I probably won't. I hope there are no more mix-ups in the future. I'm not going to buy this store if the $35 price isn't honored. Just on principle. Mattel is a massive corporation, not a small business. They can absorb the difference. The $35 price has been talked about all over social media, Instagram, X, etc. for days. I guess they saw all our praise about this being a good affordable price point for us and decided they should be gouging us more. Mattel does not care about their bribes, no matter how much they pretend they do. I understand their goal to make a profit, but their blatant greed is going to ruin them. I speak on behalf of many friends in a Barbie fan club made up of lifelong collectors when I say that many of us are thinking of switching to collecting dolls from other brands that treat their customers with respect and integrity. Mistakes can happen, but a mistake going on for several days undetected is hard to swallow. Having said that, if a company makes a pricing mistake, it should be the company absorbing the financial hit of the mistake, not the customers. Are we, collectors, being punished for the company's pricing mistake? Please reconsider keeping the original price for your members, restoring our faith in you. Sad faith being seriously damaged right now. I was planning on buying her tomorrow, but the price change cancelled that plan. And it's not about the amount, it's the lack of integrity. The doll just feels tainted to me now. I wholeheartedly agree with a lot of these comments. I don't even feel like this is about the pricing itself. Even at $45, the doll would have been an okay proposition, so there would have been no problem had they advertised the doll with that pricing on the shopping site from the get-go, but it probably was never meant to be $45 in the first place, and this now reeks of opportunism in light of the positive reception the original $35 price was getting and it's something that can only happen in the age of the internet. Just imagine plain old brick and mortar retailers like Target advertising a product for a certain price a week ahead in both print and TV commercials. But when people go into the store on the day the product comes out, they see a different price tag on that product. They'd be fuming. They would want to speak to the manager to get the price that was originally advertised and Target would have no choice to give them the product for that price. To me, this is just disrespectful, it's shady business practice and a slap in the face of both long-time collectors and new fans alike. It takes the consumer base for granted, think they are doormats that Mattel can walk all over and do with as they please. This isn't a dolly dictatorship. If we don't buy into the shitty business practices like this, we won't buy your product and your company can continue to bleed money deservedly so. Bottom line, cut and dry.
Now I would like to hear from you. Are you gonna purchase the stone under this? Are you gonna boycott this release? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you liked this video. Dislike if you thought this video was trash. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I might be seeing you in my next video. So, bye for now.